Hello guys, in this day and age, you'd expect that every single one of our internet suppliers should be supplying us with more than one megabyte per second upload. Not around here. The UK is not developed enough for that, unfortunately. But I have to live with what I've got, and I have the sweet spot for streaming video games with this poor connection. I must say a disclaimer, disclaimer just before I start. One megabyte per second upload speed and a 10 megabyte per second download speed, which is what I have, it's not going to get you 1080p and 4K streams any day of the week, but this is a guide to show you that it is possible to stream with these speeds. My Twitch link is in the description if you'd like to see a demo of these settings being used. So let's get underway here. We are using OBS. Uh, it's a 64-bit version open. Um, and as I said, my connection speed, so 1 megabyte per second uploads and 10 megabyte per second download. It varies on the day, but generally that those are the general speeds. Um, and as you can see on the screen there's a speedtest.net which you can find out your speed con uh, connect uh, internet speeds on speedtest.net uh, and uh, yep those are mine let's get underway we can go into the settings tab here um i am using obs to record right now as you can see so my settings are slightly different but i will change them uh, as they are uh, as they need to be so my max bitrate is definitely not going to be 6000 that goes down to about 700 um we have CBR enabled, um, enable CBR padding, and uh, the custom buffer sizes is, is off because uh, the, the the max bitrate and buffer size are the same. As a lot of people do use CBR padding, but I don't because I find it 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 does not work well for me. As for audio encoding, I use AAC format at 48 kilohertz uh, with a bitrate of 1112. It it doesn't need to be too high. It, ma it really it makes doesn't make much difference unless you have a studio quality mic. I used to have a blue snowball until I sold that on. I now just use a um, other headset mic I'm using, which is the Logitech G430. I leave it on 112 um, and the channel is stereo instead of mono, so it means you do get sound out of both speakers. Uh, we don't want to apply changes. Broadcasting settings. Um, we we want um, live stream obviously to Twitch and I use the London server because that's what I'm closest to. If London was down or lagging, I would generally switch it to Amsterdam, Frankfurt, or Paris because they are the closest to me. Uh, and the rest of these you can you can pretty much leave the same. Um, Auto correct timeout and things like that. As for video. You select your adapter you wish to, to use. If you've only got one, then you'll only be able to select one. Uh, your base resolution, which is your monitor resolution, I have 1080p aspect ratio as well. Um, and I would usually downscale this to uh, 1.5, which is 1280 by 720, um, which is, co of course, not 1080p, but it works for me. Um, my filter would be on billionaire, uh, billionaire, and my FPS I'd turn down to 26, because it doesn't really need to be higher than that, in my opinion. As for audio, like I said, I use um, a Logitech G430 in default, which is the same. It, it works as G430, or you can set what you want. So the push to talk delay is 200 milliseconds. I don't use push to talk, but uh, sometimes if if I do, so my push to talk delay is 200 milliseconds. I don't usually use push to talk, but if you do, then you know you set this to whatever you wish. Um, that's 0.2 seconds. Unless I'm being stupid, but I believe it is. <laughs> Desktop boost, uh, I, I put it onto two, so it does boost the mic uh, slightly here, uh, and you can leave this at one. As for hotkeys, this is where you'd press push to talk, but I don't really set anything uh, at all, to be honest. Advance is probably the most important um, after the encoding. Remember, that's supposed to be 700. Like that. Oops, as for advanced, um, I, I use multi-thread optimization to priority class high. Um, we've seen buffering time of 60, 60 milliseconds, um, and, and, and those, those, those are the main parts for general. As for video, you want to set the uh, CPU preset to very fast, encoding profile to main, and the keyframe interval to 2 seconds, uh, and you want to turn on CFR as well. The rest is basically off. You just want to make sure that latency to tuning factor is set to 20. And I believe that is it. If you have any questions about my settings, please do not hesitate to uh, post in the comments below. I will definitely get around to answering them. This is something that has been highly requested in my time with streaming. Um, and I thought, thought that this was the time to make it. Uh, my Twitch link is in the description if you'd like to go and see a demonstration of these settings being used. My Twitch has uh, 1,500 followers currently, and I haven't streamed in a long time, but uh, it, it was around 1,600 when I stopped streaming. So uh, they do work. It, it's Streaming on Twitch is not entirely about having a good connection and a high-quality stream. It's 
it's about how you are as a person as well. I thought I'd give you a little bit of a tutorial there just on that last few seconds, but thank you very much for watching. Please do rate, comment, subscribe. I would appreciate it. Uh, I do have full uh, Vatsim ATC videos coming out soon um, instead of ones that are chopped up. But until then, thank you very much. Have a good day, good weekend, good wherever you are. Uh, I'll see you next time.